All right, in this video series, I'm, I'm showing you how to build a Meet My Classmates app. And you can take data from any spreadsheet and, and you can just enter the data in there yourself. Um, and the app will basically list all that data. And I've showed you how to code it. So when you click on one of those items, it shows that person. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to add a next button. So you can basically, the user will be able to navigate through the people. So if they're trying to learn all their classmates' names, they'll be able to, you know, hit next and just see, see them all, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna go to the info screen and first thing we do is just add a button and we can style this of course, but for right now, we'll just bring it down and put it on the bottom and make its text next. And then I like to rename my components. Uh, so when I get to the blocks, uh, I can easily identify them. So I'm gonna call this the next button. Okay, and my goal is when I click this next button, for it to go to the next picture um, in my in, uh, in, in my data, okay? So in my blocks, I'm just gonna say, you know, right now when the screen opens, I, I display some stuff, uh, but in my next button dot click, I wanna get to the, to the next item. I'm, I'm gonna need to do this stuff again, right? So when the screen opens, I'm gonna wanna show some stuff, but when the user clicks next, I'm gonna wanna show like the next item. Okay, and it, it gets a little tricky because these person IDs are not row numbers. Um, they're actually kind of randomly generated identifiers for each row in the spreadsheet, okay? So I can't use that exact, like I can't add one to it um, and, and get to where I need to do. You know, you know instead what, I, what I've got to do is I'm going to create another variable and I'm just going to call this variable um, my ID list. And what I'm going to do is end up putting all the uh, IDs. Um, I'm going to put all the IDs into a list, and and you know they'll be in order, but that'll allow me to go one, two, three, and just add one to to something. So what I'm going to do with this ID list, so I'm going to go to data sources, and in data sources for your spreadsheet, you can grab all the values of in this case i want to grab all the ids and notice the the name is capital id okay and that's not one of the columns in my spreadsheet okay but you know google sheets or you know these spreadsheets they create this id for you and its name is id so i'm going to create my list and i'm just going to say okay i want to set my variable id list um to this list of values. So essentially what I have is a list of all the different IDs for the different uh, items in my, in my app or in my spreadsheet, okay? Um, okay, so, and I can actually just do this once. You know, I can do this right when the screen opens, but I'm gonna use this list then to get to the, get to the next item, okay? And what I'm gonna do is you know, create one more variable which is going to be called my um, index. And my index is going to start off at one. Okay, but what I essentially need to do is, you know, I know I have some current ID when I get here, right? And, you know, in my screen one, I set this person ID to that randomly generated identifier of the, of the chosen item. Okay, when I get here, what I'm going to do is, is find that ID in this list. That'll tell me the index that I want. And then I can just add one to that, to the, to that index. Okay, and in fact, in um, the list area, there's a block called uh, find. Okay, um, and what I'm going to do is grab it. And it's a little complicated, but you know, the list I want is the ID list. So I'm gonna go grab ID list. And I wanna find the first occurrence of the, the variable ID. So the person ID, okay? So I know that in my ID list, that person ID is somewhere in there. And what this is gonna tell me is the index of it. Is it one, two, or three? Okay, and so then I'm just gonna set my variable index to it. Okay, 
Okay, sorry, I gotta grab that block correctly. All right, so when they click the next button, I'm gonna find out the index in this list I create of all the IDs. I'm gonna find out the index of the person ID. Okay, and then I just need to add one to it to get to the next one, right? That's what we're trying to do. And so I'm just gonna set my index. I'll just copy this guy. I'm gonna set my index to itself plus one. So I can kind of get clean up a little bit here. But I'm gonna grab a math block and I wanna set my index to index plus one. If you've been following along um, and did like the quiz app or some of the apps um, in this Thunkable series before, um, you're, you're used to this incrementing operation, right? I wanna take whatever my index was, whether it was one, two or three and add one to it. Um, but I need to make sure I don't go too far. So I'm gonna, I know I've got three items in my list, but you know, who knows how many things are in my list. Maybe my spreadsheet's got 10 things, but if my index gets too big, so I'm gonna grab a greater than sign, but if my index gets bigger than the length of my list, okay, so I'll grab length of list here. And in this case, the list I care about is the ID list. Okay, but okay, so I grab whatever, I find out the index of the current thing, I add one to it, then I see if it's, you know, is my index too big? And if it is, I'll set my index back to one. Okay, so I'm just going to set index to one. So we'll kind of wrap around. So if I'm on the third thing, I'll want to grab the first thing. Okay, so I'll just get rid of that and just grab a one over here, grab a zero and change it into a one. Okay, we're almost there. So now we have an index which tells us the number of the next thing. So if it was Dave Wolber, you want to get that second thing, which I think is Rafiki, right? Um, but with that index, now we can change our ID to the ID of, of whichever index that is. So I can now set my um, person ID. And I'm going to set it once I get then I go back go back to the list block, and now I want to use the get operation, which just says, you know, go grab me some item, and then you know, obviously I want the ID list again. And what I want to do is get the index thing. So whatever this index happens to be now, and it could be one, could be two, could be three, right? but I want to grab the indexed item. Okay, and once I've done that, now I've got my person ID reset and hope, you know, what I think I'm doing is setting it to the, to the next ID in my list. Um, then I just kind of need to do all these blocks up here and I'm just going to copy each of them. And let's just give ourselves a little room, but we need all three of those guys because we actually need to show, you know, we did a bunch of work to, to find the, the ID of the person, but now we got to go to the sheet and actually grab that stuff. Okay, so when the next button's clicked, we find out, you know, not the, the generated ID for it, but we find whether it's the number of it, the index of it, the position of it, one, two, or three. We add one because we want to get the next thing. We make sure we haven't gone to the end, you know, past the end of the list. And then we go grab the ID of that next thing. And then we show, show that information. All right, let's give it a shot. So I'm going to go back to the designer, click on preview. Um, and, oh, sorry. Well, you know, when you, when you go to preview, always start on screen one. So I'm going to go to screen one, click on preview. Uh, let's just click on the first guy, David Wolber. That shows like it was doing before, but now let's see if our next button works. Okay, cool. It did show the next, I guess Tar is the second one. And then click again, there's there's Rafiki. Uh, now let's make sure we're, we're handling the end of the list. If I click next, back to Wolber. Okay. So anyway, um, 
you know, back to the info screen blocks, you know, kind of the you know, a little complicated code, right? Um, but what you want to kind of envision is you've got this, you, you create this list of all the IDs and think of the IDs as like 72961, you know, some big long ID, but you've got the list of these, in this case, three IDs. Um, and then, but you have an index one, two, three in that list. And then, you know, using that index, you can kind of, you know, navigate to the next ID and grab that ID. And that's what we're doing.